What is the thought, what, what, what is the essence of this new album? And you've referred to in the past that it's, it's quite different from recordings that you've done before. So maybe I can get you to speak to the ideas and the concepts behind the album before we talk about um, how it contrasts to your previous work. Yeah, okay. This album, it's really me speaking from my heart, not necessarily catering about the singing style, how to make the voice so beautiful, but about really being authentic. Whether I'm off tune, I don't care. I really didn't care. I didn't, you know, you know what I mean? When you're working on an album, you, okay. This time, I didn't care about that. What I must tell you, though, is that uh, this wasn't supposed to be the album. I had, uh, I was supposed to release just before, uh, during the pandemic uh, time. So I had to stop and, and uh, because I, there, there was no way I could release what I had produced because it would make no sense. For the kind of artist I am, the person I am, my personality, it wouldn't match with the current situation. Mm -hmm. So I felt compelled to just uh, hang on. And then uh, I, I had, you know, I had like a point where everything was blank. I, I had to really uh, think through my life to say, okay, this is the first time I actually... Uh, questioned myself to say mm. am i in the right uh career am i doing the right job you know so it was really the first time so if i was i prayed to god i prayed to the spirit to help me to find the way you know of what next as i was doing that i had my amazing manager Bruce bradley from slammy media and of course my my partner patrick uh, they were both on me, just trying to cheer me up and say, you know, move on. And what strikes me, uh, you know, the, the, the Kobe Bryant, he just passed away before before the, the pandemic, right? Mm -hmm. And then he came into my mind at that point. So I'm like, look at this. I, I think I was on, on, on Facebook or something. The news about him popped up. That was when I actually went deeper. I'm like, oh my God, this guy, oh, he just, and he was so fast. He was so, um, he was so energetic. He was so full of life, lovely family. He mm. was so in a rush to do things that the life just went like that. Okay, so I thought of myself. I said, I'm here, I would have been on the plane. I would have been somewhere before me. I could have died as well then that shared me up. And then the inspiration for Life Na Jeje came about. So Life Na Jeje, which means life is step by step. Take it mm. easy. So that's from that first song that just clicked in me, the way it came to me, the groove, because the way I, I, I work my song, sometimes it, it comes by lyrics and then the groove just comes in. Right, and then the groove, the way it was moving, it was setting me for you know, it was that step by step. So I, I wrote that out, sent it to my musicians, they started working on it, and then the 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 the, the, the woman popped up. The the story about women uh, in this whole time, as I was trying to get myself out of my own uh, blank due to COVID. Lots of women and artists in the community, they were calling me, Sonia, you are here, what are you up to? Can you do something? Can we do something? You get what I mean? So yeah. I started putting events together and before you knew it, I was producing uh, different shows featuring women. So that track came about, woman, okay? Mwana Unke in Kiswahili. That again in life, woman is that uh, even in this situation of COVID uh, and beyond COVID, outside that, woman is that is like is the box that really contains everything, you know, every nagging, every positive 
negative from siblings, from husband, from lovers, from children. She bears it all. Mm. So, and that's, I see myself as that woman and the collective of women around me that we became the, the force and we started you know, empowering ourselves by, okay, maybe another artist is by creating new work, which I am to produce. Another one is learning about marketing all of a sudden because we couldn't pay for any marketing, you <laughs> yeah. know? But yes, these women were just together working on this. So that's how that song came about as well. And then you, I can go on and on and then they do, do your best about that being out there for others. And this time it's really reconnects me back to my root. It reconnects me to, to my life as well, because I realized that since I started touring, since the age of 23, Ruth, I never had a break where I would just stay six months or three months without doing anything. It's never happened. And I've never stayed in a country for up to six months. Mm. Never. I've never lived in my own home for six months. Never. Not even three months. It's never wow. happened. That's a big, big experience for you. Yeah. So all of this, it's, it's, it's brought me back to, to reconnect to myself to learn so many things about myself. You get mm. what I mean? Uh, so, uh, and to learn about people around you, because when you are always on the go, on the road, you think you know it all, but really no, because you don't really have the time to be there and chill and, you know, break it down. So this time was a reconnection mm. to myself, to my root, and as well inviting people and not just inviting because in every conversation i had i i, I must have spoken to about two thousand people during this time you know just sharing and through activities what have you everybody trust me 98 percent of the people is about they want to reconnect who wants to go back to africa who wants to do the things they used to do who wants to you know Everybody is about reconnection. Ah, so, that's an interesting observation. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, of course, my even the title of the album from Beat for Peace has been changed to Reconnect, Reconnect because it was the time for me to reconnect to myself, to people, and for others who got closer to me as well, to reconnect to me and able to reconnect to people around them. It's all about a reconnect. Well, what, is, what are your future dreams for, for touring? If, if, you know, we're all waiting to find out about borders opening and, and being able to, um, is this something that you'd like to take straight back to Africa, to your communities there first? Absolutely. Or, yeah. They are waiting for me. They are waiting for me. Uh, to Africa, also because in this album, I am featuring uh, uh, several Africans, like uh, Reconnect uh, is featuring an amazing singer from Guinea Conakry, he's an upcoming artist, he's amazing. He's a dancer, choreographer and a singer. So he, he if you listen to Iramaga, Iramaga, Ujiba, Ujiba, that's the guy. Yeah, and oh great, <laughs> yep, I love that bit, yep. Yeah, and on the video, music video we are currently producing, we are, we're working on, I'm also featuring another great uh, uh, dancer, choreographer and singer from Ivory Coast. His name is mm -hmm. Maji Sien. And, uh, and right now I'm here, but my, my music is being worked in Africa, both in Guinea, Guinea Conakry and Ivory Coast. So I have these two artists that are currently uh, choreographing dancers in these two countries, uh, preparing three video clips where that I will be producing. I will be adding my parts in Toronto, Canada, as soon as possible. So, of course, my 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 dream is really to uh, go to Africa and, of course, Europe, 
and uh, and the, the rest of the world. Yeah, I'm I'm preparing. I want to be ready, you know, for when this will be over, so I can share this beautiful experience with the entire world. Yeah, I really. And you can come to Australia too. I think I think people here would absolutely love your music. 